Welcome to this little update for Alex Key Map and this little screencast on Alex Key Map, the brand new version. So let me first start the brand new version by executing it, and you will know notice not much different in this new Alex Key Map version. The only thing that changed is the version number. Basically, if you click on About here. Uh, you can see it's version 0.7.99 0 and this has a particular re uh, reason because it is not quite stable yet, it's not quite polished as uh, I wanted to have. So I will show you a few new features that are available in Alex Key Map. First of all you will notice that there's a tools option now in the menu bar which allows you to open up an profile show hide profiles if you click on this you will get this window basically which shows you the profiles that are available so what are profiles profiles mean basically you have the option to set multiple keyboard layouts the standard or default profile which is available also if you migrate from another Alex Key Map version, the older Alex Key Map versions, is the global profile. So you have a global profile which is basically the gro global configuration uh, of your current key map. You can add new profiles by clicking on add here, just like I want of course for my second uh, keyboard layout, I want an international keyboard layout. So basically this means uh, the US keyboard layout. And if I double click the international profile it will take me to this um, dialog again where I can choose my country and my uh, keyboard variant. So I would choose my uh, the international keyboard layout United States, English US and hit apply. And I can go back to uh, show height profiles. You can see if I click on the global again, it will take me to my German um, keyboard layout. So pretty simple, I guess. Uh, with this profile menu, you can set multiple keyboard layouts. Of course, if you set multiple keyboard layouts, you want somehow a method to switch between those keyboard layouts. So if you tap in your uh, test here, only the global keyboard layout will be active, and yeah, if you want to change this, you can go to options here, which opens up this uh, keyboard options um, new window, which allows you to set various different options, just like, for example, the keys to change layout, which I want to do. But you have also, if you're working on a Mac keyboard, you can change the uh, key to choose the third level. So if you want to type an add symbol or something like this, it might be quite tricky to do this on a Mac keyboard. Uh, you can choose uh, a third level here. As you can see here, there are different options here uh, from which you can choose. There are some other things just like numeric keyboard layout selection, use keyboard LED to show alternative key keyboard layout, which uh, might be very useful if you are switching between keyboard layouts. There's no indicator. So we don't have an indica indicator in the, in the panel here. Uh, we don't have any other indicators. Uh, it might be very useful if you have, uh, if you are working on a desktop computer, that you have uh, a numlock going on, uh, numlock uh, turning on when you are uh, using an alternative keyboard layout, uh, or the caps lock or scroll lock, just whatever you like. Normally, I, I stick with the scroll lock because this is something <laughs> that I don't use very often, so it's very handy. On a um, notebook uh, computer, you might not have <laughs> those LEDs for scroll lock, uh, for caps lock maybe, for unlock also, but not for a uh, scroll lock mostly. And you have some other options here, just like compose key, com uh, the, the key to choose the fifth level, um, Japanese keyboard op options, Esperanto circumflex options, and so on. Uh, also key sequence to kill the X, X server, so uh, you can enable control alt backspace again if you want to kill the X server here which uh, works also pretty fine. The only thing, and that's why I called this version uh, 0.7.99, because I'm really, 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 really had hard times uh, getting this to work. And uh, it, 
it's not 100% completely yet, I would guess, because when I click here, for example, if I want to switch between my two uh, keyboard layouts now with uh, Control and Shift, I can use here Control and Shift, I click on it, and you will see nothing really happens. The only thing that I know of that uh, this has been toggled on is because my debugging messages in my terminal say, uh, tell it basically to me that uh, the group control shift toggle is now uh, turned on, but as you can see, there's no visual um, stuff showing me that it's turned on. And this is uh, something I really, really struggled in, struggled with because I just did not get it to work. So it would be really nice if uh, some of you developers would uh, take a look at the code and will fix this because this is, I, I guess, a very <laughs> important fix for for the next uh, version of Alex key map uh, to show some checks here because otherwise it will be re really hard to know what is checked what what is turned on what is turned off and so on so now I have control shift enabled click OK here click apply again and this will just simply uh, apply both um, keyboard layouts and the option to switch between them so if I'm tapping now the Y key here and now switching to my uh, English keyboard layout if I press the Y key on my keyboard it will print out Z because the Y key and Z keys are um, basically switched in the German uh, keyboard layout or in the English keyboard layout as you can see so this works pretty fine you can switch between both keyboard layouts. Uh, the interesting thing, I can, uh, cannot only have uh, two keyboard layouts here, I can just add a French keyboard layout if I want to. Type in French here, double click it, double click it, choose French from the list, France, French. Click apply again and now I can also see, I think the best would be, this is the German keyboard layout, Quetz. Now uh, I'm pressing Control Shift, switch to the English one, which is QWERTY. Oh no, switch to the French one, as you can see at 30. And now switch to the English one, to the international QWERTY. So this works pretty nice. And as you can see, it works very fine. So switching keyboard layouts wouldn't be a problem, I guess, in the next version of Lubuntu. I hope that this Alex Schema version or an improved version, an polished version of this one will uh, get into uh, Lubuntu 12.04 so that we now have also the option to switch between keyboard layouts, different keyboard layouts without any problems. Uh, I can remove, of course, my configurations here. I need to press apply after removing so that uh, this will this this change will be saved and t let's take a look at the configuration file as you can see here alex key map it oh it basically did not change the french uh, change so it's still a little bit buggy so this this is the reason why i'm calling for testers and for help to uh, polish this <laughs> version up so that it will run very very fine let me go to this keyboard layout save it again no, it's not somehow still thinking that the French stuff is in there. Let's hit apply again. There's still a bug. So I need to fix this uh, also. Uh, but normally this is uh, how the configuration file file looks like currently. So what it will do is just uh, have, of course, the global section in here with the layout and the uh, keyboard variant. You have an international section. This is basically my uh, profile list, which which it's grabbing from here. Uh, the French one is deleted. You also have the option. This is uh, very handy if you don't want to use Alex Key Map. You want to choose your or you have uh, mistakenly somehow changed your key map. Um, you can go to the configuration file and just change the key map in here. And Alex key map the next time will uh, just uh, start when when uh, you log in. It will start up and will change the configuration just to the one that you set in the configuration file. So this is basically the configuration file of Alex key map. And there are some bugs as you 
so and uh, so it's ne it needs a little bit of polishing still so I hope that someone could over could take over this job of polishing Alex key map so uh, that we have a full functioning version in uh, Ubuntu 1204 I'm very busy right now because I'm just moving to a new apartment and I'm uh, also quite uh, under pressure in uh, finishing a student project that I just need to finish right now because I want to uh, finish my uh, my university life basically in in the first half of this year so I I need some time and I don't have s uh, too much time uh, working on Alex key map so it would be nice if uh, someone could do some polishing here so there are only s few bugs as you saw them one bug might be or one glitch in in, in the UI might be also uh, the current key map selection the status bar here if I just let me reopen this you can see if I have multiple keyboard layouts it will only show the first one and then uh, just multiple key maps in here it would be nice if it would show both key maps here or a third key map if you have uh, three key maps set and uh, also the status updating if I'm going to international here and uh, choosing English here or something like this would be nice if it would update also to, to the current key map and of course, as you see, if I'm going to the uh, global here, German, I, I think I had uh, eliminated date, dead keys uh, on, turned on. It's jumping to the Germany here, uh, but it's not jumping to the German eliminated dead keys. So if I accidentally press or f apply too fast, it will just apply the normal German uh, dead keys without the variant. So it needs also to mark the variant here and jump to the variant. This is also, I think, a small glitch that, that needs to be fixed. And of course, the biggest uh, thing I think is uh, the options, uh, the option box, as you can see here. Uh, we have uh, Control Shift turned on, and this I can show you this again. If I'm just turning it off now, you don't see any visual here, but if I'm turning it off, you can see in the um, terminal it's uh, now false, so it's now turned off basically. So, this is uh, something that needs to be fixed, needs to be done. I hope someone could grab my code and uh, fix it up so that we will have a nice uh, keyboard layout switching application in Lubuntu you know, 1204. Uh, you can get Alex Keymap from uh, the launchpad.net Alex Keymap slash Alex Keymap um, project page. Basically, you can go to code here and you will see that there are two branches. if the internet loads up or the browser loads up my page takes a while I don't know why launchpad is down or what seems seems so that code launchpad on that oh there it is time out somehow so there's the uh, trunk branch where no, not not picked up yet. There it is. There's the trunk branch um, from Alex Keymap where I put all my stuff in. The implementation of the um, keyboard layout switching it and multiple keyboard layout option. Uh, you can get this branch by just copying this uh, command here. If you have Bazaar installed you can just then uh, get this branch and then look at my code and fix it up hopefully dopefully so this is basically everything for this screencast i hope you enjoyed this and hope you will have find the courage and find uh, um, the interest in fixing up my code so that we will in the end have a good uh, keyboard layout switching application in Lubuntu and uh, it might not also, also be used by, by Lubuntu all only or by LXD only it can also be used in this implementation that we've done so far uh, it can also be used by other um, small window managers only awesome open box uh, flux box or whatever you want to you can set your key map uh, there with Alex key map so it's not only LXD specific so if you are working on an another distro or something like this or another if you're working with another window manager it can be also very useful to, to fix up Alex key map 
for your favorite window manager so this is basically everything for this screencast i uh, hope you enjoyed this and yeah thanks for watching